welcome back home. Today video will be very different video. We have to say we're not go to the right code. In fact, we're not go right code at all. But what I want to show now for this video now Canva. And Canva now for those of us who like design, we have to say we want they do freelance design work or graphic design work, want they make posters, want they make thumbnails for YouTube videos, you want they make presentations and slides and all those kind of things, but you don't know how, or you want to make them quick, quick, and you want to make people even sell CP, pay you money for them. That's why we they use Canva today. So before we start, just know say Canva it they different from Figma. So Canva they have to say for people where you no know, be real designers but want build something very very quick or graphic designer we want something very fast. So that now waiting Canva be. If you go Canva.com, you go see this site where they on top right now. So you get the free version. We say me I they use and everyone else they use or most people. This free version is day enough for most of what we they do. So one of the things where you go need know about Canva be say because Canva na very quick way to build things. Canva they always they advance, they always they add more design. They, they design, you know, if you look and finish, they always they add more assets, more images, they always they add new new things every time. So you know, just be like all those sites where they say they could just stay standard and static, you know, go they do anything again, you could just wait till you see now what you get. No, we with Canva, you feel they do all sorts of things, and then I wait I want to show now for this video. So I know we'll cover all the things we Canva feed do, but if you want to know all the things we Canva feed do, just come here for this menu top here and you put the mouse here, no click anything. Thing that you will see all the things we Canva feed do for you. If you do all sorts of things, PDF editor, all sorts of things you feed do for them. If you work with pictures and videos, you just say if you even edit video even self for Canva for printing stuff. So we say one print more still shares hoodies. So make we first create an account for here. And I'm supposed to just click sign up. It just be like the usual easy sign up. But me, I go just log in. So as we don't log into Canva now like this, so this now the dashboard where you're going to see, if you click here, make you hide the side menu. So this now all my work where I don't do before and everything. If you see, say this now the things for me, and if you just come here, search for the docs or documents where you go like make, if you see different templates, where if you just click and if you just uh, update those templates. And if you get whiteboards for here also, whiteboards and I say you want the user, they describe things like blackboard, but you know, now whiteboard. <laughs> so if it um, gets, uh, if it, they like uh, show your design, flow when they build apps or if you want to talk about payment system or you know coding logic even if you even put them for all these places and brainstorming and all sorts of things if you do here with your whiteboard presentation just me say you want to show uh, uh slides so presentation and like slides so if you want this nice slide for you if you click on and it will give you different 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 slides as a slide of of one slide you're going to get different different slides inside that one slide right we we will follow the same design pattern another one where you get of course now social media images so if you want the one for instagram post we could be like square or if you want the one for facebook post we could be landscape these things are all different sizes just like instagram story um uh, whatsapp status all those things and uh because of that we get different designs where you feel they work with so this is say if you just work with all these things and you, you could just get them quick quick for your they make your customers even if you be just business person we say you want to update your business if they use this thing to to the um post social um media posts and all those kind of things of course i don't tell you now say if you get videos for here so um uh, so so I don't know why this video is not a load now, but um, for here, you could just, you know, put the mouse on them and you go see the video. So if you put this video as an entrance video, and I feel they put all the shots also, and if you can change these videos also. So if you leave the text and then change the video to whatever video where you want, of course. And uh, if you use those videos also for adverts, for social media adverts. If you would like to see a video about how if you make social media ads, uh, make sure let me know for the comment section so that I could drop video for now, how and I feel do social media ads, right? And of course, if you want to do like, uh, you know, like website showcase or mock-up showcase for your website and stuff like that, uh, now there, if you just come here, click on the website and you could get all those designs. And you get many, 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 many more. We'll be saying if you do like infograph, if you get a desktop uh, wallpapers, all sorts of things and so on and so forth, book covers, if you get all that for here, just by using Canva for free. Make we use presentation. And this is not the same thing for all of them, for most of them. And we could just choose this uh, presentation for here. So that I will show now how it will work. So this is now the Canva standard design page where we say if we work with presentation, we get all these presentations for here, which means say we feel they add different things for here. So if you click on this button for here or you press control and backslash, you go feel hide this sidebar where they there, just so that you go feel get more space to the work on them. And if you look here, you go see say some of them we don't work on my uh, Figma videos, you go see say this kind of they somehow similar to Figma, but much easier to use and they uh, more uh, sharp sharp to they deliver the thing for us. So what you want to do for here, we say we want 
can now start to the work on adding more things. So make I just show on the UI first before we move along. So if you see, if we click here, of course, you could go home and these files here, now here where we feel the uh, create new design. Now here where we feel the, even the save our designs. Now here if we create arm um, as a folder, if you want to group your designs together, if you make a copy of your design, if you also download your design, if you even go back in history, but because now pro feature, you know, go feed no arm. So no worry about that, you know, to need And for here itself, if you add all your comments, if you also download the app, all right? So if you want to download the app on top of your laptop, if you but yeah, they always like use this one here because uh, the browser, it will work fine, fine, fine for me. If you resize, but this now all pro features, of course, if you try the pro version and for here and here where you go fit rename your project where they work on, we could just call this uh, slides for YouTube. Okay. So YouTube and just like that, we get this slides, click out of them and this whole file now, this whole design will be slides for YouTube. If you give other people access to your site by clicking to your design by clicking here, if you set them as a presentation, let's say you want to show people and you could just click presentation and that will give you a full screen of what you the design based on the pages. And then, of course, if you want to share them, just click the share button. Let me say, if you feel download the design for here, just come down here. And if you click download, and this will give you the option to download the file where you want. All right. So if you download them in different formats, you get the PDF, you get the PDF prints, you get all sorts of PPTX. I don't even know what that won't be, but you get the MP4 video, you get the JPEG video. And of course, you will definitely get the PAG. But however, the SVG, then a scalable vector graphic, the one we'll be saying, no good, they pixelated, or no good, they show block, 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 block. Those ones you're going to need pay to get the pro version so you go figure that and export as an SVG, all right? Uh, most of the time, you're not going to need them because you go going to do most of the designs for here. If you feel, say, we feel animate different things for here, if you set the position, uh, now here you go feel the zoom in and out, so I use that one a lot. Now, if you look this powerful button for here, this is now Canva Assistant. And Canva Assistant, just like any other product we did in internet today, in a, our own AI assistant. So if you help us get more things and say, oh, okay, oh, do this Canva design for me. And if you click all these things. And then if you experiment with most of these AI services uh, we Canva to give us, but me, I know today use them, but if you experiment with that kind of service, all right? Now, if you look this size for here, you can see we get different things for here. You can see we get the design. The design now just the side bar for here, we we'll say we get all these our designs where we've been close before. So you see, say we get different, different designs. It even give us the kind colors where they, and of course, they give us more suggestions. We we'll say we'll be similar to this design, but now all you know, nice, beautiful design. You say all these things, you feel they get them for free right if you look into here you can see say we get the uh, elements elements not just things where we say if they decide like elements where they decide where we say um, where they the design where we say we feel they work with and i will show now in a bit for example uh if you want to add uh, different elements like uh side like stickers if you want add them just click on you go add the sticker for the for the design here so this is a the same sticker where they here you feel also resize them and all those kinds of things just a drag it just be like figma now we don't watch my figma videos and i'm going to say this thing just be like figma but it did more and you get more assets, you get more assets where if you work Figma, you could build your assets, but for here, you get the assets where if you use. So make I just delete here to delete anything where you get for here, just click on the element where you want to delete, and then you will see this small box for here. This small box just to say you want to make a duplicate, you can make a duplicate of this hand like this, or if you want to delete, you could just click delete and that could delete the file. Also, you get these three dots where it give you some more options to so copy them, paste them, all those sorts of things, alignment, left, right, delete them. All those things if you do for here, all right. So I could just come on that hand for here. Another very important concept we have for like show now, now the frames frames now wait we say you feel they keep something so if you say you want to come a frame so make i use this frame for example and if i come this frame you go see say this frame now i feel put down anywhere for my design but if i you want to use this frame i go it just means say i go want to put something inside down so even if i take a picture now you just see this frame be like round 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 ton, 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 ton. if i carry a square picture now and i put it inside this frame that picture will be square, will be like box before you go come carry all this shape, the shape of this. Run, 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 run. Okay, I just see if I feel show now for this one. Make I just carry this picture. Come here. So you see this picture now with the here. I could just drag and put inside this frame. And this is say you don't take the shape of this frame for here. So anywhere where I carry this frame puts now there the picture will be, but the picture will resemble the shape. Make I check for frame here. If you just come here for the search bar, and if you just search for frame. And if you check for frame, make we see what it will give us. So this is a, they give us different frames, right? So if you click here, you will see all the available frames where 
Canva they give us. So if you see, say, we even get this kind of frame like a computer screen. And if we come here and we say, okay, we want this computer screen, but we want to put like a picture inside them. We can put this uh, restored picture. You can see, say, it day inside the frame. I can come on this one. Like I show now for here, delete, uh, sorry, delete. Yeah. So you come here and you can see, say, the thing day inside the frame. The picture go day inside the frame. And if you want to delete for, from inside frame, just click on the frame and click delete. This will help us delete the, if you want to delete the entire thing with the frame and the image, you click delete frame there and that go delete. So this is a, we feel they get all sorts of things for inside our camera. So if you want to expand anything, you feel always they use the see all for here. If you also click on this, we go help us go left and right for other options. But if you want to see all of them, all the shapes, all the shapes where they Canva, just click here and you could get shapes. If you also search for shapes where you find, and then Canva go give you that shape. Stickers now just animations where you say you feel they add to your design for here. Also, another thing that the photos, which all these photos are free to use. So nobody say you could come go find the photos one on one. If you just find any photo, if you say uh, anything where you want, and uh, like if you click thank you, and it will give you all the pictures of thank you. If you even search for the one where you want by yourself. And uh, if you want to filter your search also, I believe, say, if you click here, and this will help you filter the search. So if you search based on the kind of picture where you want, if you search for uh, square pictures, which now all those 1080 by 1080 pictures where they use for Instagram, and it will give us all the 1080 by 1080 pictures. If you say, if you want to make it be purple, so if you click purple, it will make sure, say, the picture, now 1080 by 1080 and uh, purple. So if you see, you get this thank you picture, maybe 1080 by 1080 and uh, purple. But if you look here, you can see in a pro version. So what I always like to do is say, if you just look this picture for inspiration, and then I go redesign the same thing again, where I want for here. Actually, make I make I come out and first make I show now for here. So I could just make a new uh, page for here. What I go do? I go add new page. And this new page here, I could just drag this one, drop inside this new page. So this is a now, even though not pro version, even though we need pay for um, Canva, they let us they even see the design. So if you see I'm here, if you get inspiration here, if you even redesign um, something similar, if you know be the same thing, but now just to give me inspiration. But if you try to use this thing or if you try to export them, um, Canva I go tell you say it go export them um, with this watermark, this Canva watermark, and it go tell you to make you pay anyway. But if some of the designs, if you just delete the element, let's say they say this one are pro element, if you delete this element, are you going to go well, well? Of course, make we come back here, make I delete this one. If you want also uh, change the style or the text for here, if you, of course, if you change the style of the text for here, so just click on the text. If you change the font family, so let's say you want to change only this text for here. If you come here, change the text, click text, and that will change the text for, for this uh, style with it here. If you also make them bigger and smaller, and also for here, if you also change the font, so make we change that font to another font. I could just come here and see which better font we use. Make we try Montserrat. Uh, you feel say we get our Montserrat font for here in this purple. So this is just like this. We they create all these things easy, easy. Of course, if you want to increase the size, if you also do this. So if you click here on top of the, the text, if you highlight them, and then you go for increase the sizes for here. So you see if you they increase the size or if you they reduce the size. If you want to change the color, if you change the color, if you change the color to any color where you get here and Canva, what thing I like about them is say it will look inside your design and it will find all the images that it will give you some some co the color of the images within your site. So if you say all these purple, all these elements within here and here and here, if you say uh, a day. Uh, a day inside this our color where if you pick for here so if you pick a different shade of the color they always give you that very nice thing for there which they very very helpful if you work with your designs for here so so another thing with say you will need no say if you even still make a bold of course italic if you want underline and uh, uppercase where you say if you want me all the all the text the um, capital letter if you align them to the size to the center to the left to the right of course uh, if you also add them as a list if you want say you want to get bullet points or if it's you know turn that list off if you also turn the list off as one to three or if you just turn them off totally if you also add spacing for here and the spacing now your line height the spacing between the text here if you put them from top and bottom down and the line height from top and bottom in the y-axis and another thing where if you do make i just set them back to zero you can see say it don't jump like this now so you could need to put them for the middle here another way if you do now the letter spacing so if you put the spacing for the letters and all these things i would advise you now we could not experiment with these things because if you don't experiment with them you know go fit use them so make i switch this back to zero and we could see and then you go add effects to your text so effects make we use this one now uh where you say you want make this text get shadow so if you click here and the text will get shadow if i feel also say you don't need photoshop for all these kind of things right but photoshop is more advanced right 
another thing where you could like to be say if you make this add some shape so if you look here you can see say we get all the shapes so all these things where, where are they showing up for here and i'm gonna need experiments with them i know they say you're gonna need use them all the time but just use them don't say these things they there for your design that's why they try show or not so that i'm gonna design anything when you want with uh canva so enough of this uh kind of stuff make we try talk say uh we won't go back or we won't undo these changes with this thing we do so i could just press ctrl and z for my keyboard that go undo the changes i could press them again press them again and you go see say it don't revert back to my changes if you want to do them back or redo you could press ctrl y now this now just come on to we say all of us where they use computer suppose don't know so ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z and of course if you want copy them if you copy them if you want paste them that's ctrl c Control V go paste them and that will drop us a copy of whatever um, what we uh, copy. So, and also, I go like show now this one. If you want to make a duplicate, you go just press Control D that will create a duplicate, all right, of what we want. And another one way they be say if you want cut them, Control X. When I suppose don't know this by now, and that will cut the design come out. And if you paste them for somewhere else for another design, all right. So, that's how this uh, whole uh, fizzy way they here they work. Another thing where I for like show now the positioning. So for the position, if you click position for here, so you go feel add and um, bring the text go front or bring and go forward. So if I drag this text come here, you go see say the text they sit down, it they hide behind this image, right? So if you click on, you go see say this image now it they cover the text, and we don't want that. So what you want, we say won't carry the text come outside or come front. Then now where do they use all these things for here? This array. So this is say if we click this, bring forth, bring um, front or forward or backwards or go back or to back, it go to send it in. So make we see. So if we say what thing we did now, we say this um, image it did on top of the text. So what you want, we say we want to send them to the back. To send them to the back, just click this backwards here, and you go see say it don't carry them go the back. Another thing where I'd like to say you go just press Control, I go press your uh, what we call them. Uh, square brackets and that will bring them comfort or that will bring them come back so you can see uh, square brackets that's closing square brackets it will bring them come front and control and uh, opening square brackets or opening curly brace it will send them come the um, the back so so this is a this thing a very easy thing for us today get these nice designs where we won't get on top of our code of course you go fit like a uh, align them to the center if you feel align them to the left if you feel align them to the top all those things just by clicking all these things we they do all that if you also increase the size and all that make we move on make we say we won't add a text now you just say if we get different design text so if we add for example you, or some of them also they paid some of them are pro so if you say you want to use this one now and you click down Canva go say make you pay and make you pay for like 30 days or something or make you try for 30 days before you go pay but no need for that so make we just say we want the glow text right and this glow text make we just say we want to put some kind of effects on top of and I will do that. Make we just say we want to put like this glow uh, effect for you. And then if you just change the text, just say hello uh, world. <laughs> I don't know the other way to this one. So for this um, hello world text now, for we did for here, what you want to do is say we want to uh, click outside now. I want to drag them out. Okay. So we want to drag them. So once we say like this, if you drag this hello world for here, and this just like that, we don't get this text way be like this. If you also change this text to this kind of text, so if you say okay, well, make we change them to this kind of text for here of thank you. And then if you just um, delete them and then if you carry this thank you and then you go write that hello world again for here so if you just say hello and if you say world for here world and if you don't like this you get this hello world of course you go fit like change the color so make we see if, if you change the color if you change that to our purple color for here and if you change this other one if you change them again to our purple color make a change down to purple for here i go to say we get this hello world for here looking very nice so quick quick canva don't help us arrange all these things all right so you get the one where they call the heading so if you click on you get this heading text for here if you click the subheading text you get your you know subheading text for here uh, make i come on this so we get the subheading text we get the text for here and also we get the small text for here so all this now we don't they use and we don't they add them and everything don't they work nice nice for here another one we get now the brand hub but the brand hub now pro feature so i'm not going to show now about this brand hub for here and uh because now, now like to add your own assets and you feel they use those assets based on your own brand or the client's brand also you get the uploads uploads now like where you store your own assets so if you look here I get many assets for here. Uh, you can see, say, this is not just assets where I don't add for myself. And then I go see my, where my picture? Yeah, you can see my lovely picture for here. And uh, then I'm waiting the upload they do. So if you upload your images, your files, your audios, your videos into this place, and once you add them here, if you feel they bring them into any of your projects, if you they say, okay, we'll make this one just day, any projects where you want, and it's going to work for you. Nice, nice for them. Also, if you draw, but I know today use draw, all right, but if you draw, this is not just normal things where you say, when well, I'm supposed to, um, 
um, on a few experiments with. But me, I know they use draw. In fact, I know even they use them. I never use them at all. So <laughs> that's why I I, go, I don't go talk much about them. But it just be like any other thing. Maybe say if you pick your tools for here and if you draw waiting one draw for here. All right. If you pick, do that and experiment with them. Right. So this is not the eraser. And the uh, projects are just projects where you don't work on already. So if you want to import a previous project, if we want to import this our SaaS video for here, uh, if you just import any of the other slides where they here. So if you want to form the slides, because now here where I make those slides, right? So you could come here if you just click on this slide and this go import the slide. So this page is where they see here. Whenever we click presents for here, the page is going to show one after another. So if I click present and I and I and it starts to show this whole one image, if I press uh, left or right or next page, what it go do? It go show the next page here. Then if I add another image again and I bring them in, it go show the other page. You understand? So now so it they do all the time. All right. So make I delete this too because we don't need them again. And of course, uh, images now where we add image. Oh, I don't even skip apps. So if we come apps, you get other apps where they, they integrate into Canva. Like if you integrate Figma, if you integrate some other AI stuff and all those kind of things. If you do Bitmoji, you know, all those kind of things. If you do Giphy, YouTube, all these things, Pexels, if you add them all into your um, design tool like this for here. In fact, we know if we even delete this page. So maybe I'm going to be saying, I could just like replace this page with it here. So um, already we get all these five design with it here. Maybe we say we want to use another kind of design. So maybe I just click here. And uh, what we want to say, we want to just click this design. I'm going to say we want to replace the current page. All right. So we'll just replace this current page with this design. So you can see, you say we get all these designs for here. And if you just even they change the text for here. So if you use uh, any of those skills where I don't show now for here to the design something. But I want to show now how now we even add background images. So to get that background image, you could just double click on, on the images. So you could come, make we come photos. And what you want to do is say we won't carry this image now. Make we carry this computer image. Uh, as we put them here now, if we spread them like this, this will be the background image. So make we close this one. Make I say I'm where where. And make I zoom out small. Make I just get that real estate here. So if we look at this image here, you can see say this no be our background image. Even though it looks like a background image, it's not a background image yet. So to make them a background image, where they say it will sit behind all these other FEs where they here, all these ones where they here, you could just click this image, double click. When you double click now, it will show like this. Now that time, where you go like just set them as a background image. So if you set where you want to make this background image, make it sit. If you if you talk say make it be like square. If you talk say make it be like um square now one on one or ten eighty by ten eighty. And uh, if you call a, a landscape or uh, yes, you call a rectangle or landscape. If you do it like this, if you even do other options for here, but me I could just leave it like this. And waiting that they always like to say once I don't set them to the image where I want, I could just set press done. And once now done here, we still never get that background image. You go need just right click. And then for the options here, you go put them, say you want to replace background image. So once you click this, you go see, say we get this background image. And now this FZ or this, um, all the other styles we're supposed to hear, all the other elements we're supposed to edit on the page, they sit down. So even if we delete everything for here, the background image goes see there. All right, so I'll just press Ctrl Z to add everything back. So this is say all these things now waiting Canva they help us they do. Another thing where I would like show now be say let's say I bring another element. In fact, make I bring another element come here. Uh, what we'll do be say I define an upload. I'm just gonna add my uh, make I just add uh DJ Dev for here and this DJ Dev logo make we say it day here. Make I close this. Make we say this DJ Dev logo day here. And the way it be, we know like um, we go like like a day too bright, right? Or a day too big or something. So make we just resize them. And what you want to say, make I zoom in small. Okay. And what you want to say, we won't make them a bit transparent. We'll make them give them transparency. And if you don't, so just come here into this icon. Whenever I see this icon, this is not the transparency. So if you come here, click the transparency, and then if you they reduce the transparency. So if you they don't like this, like this, if you give them like make we say like uh, sixty percent. For here, where it is 60. If you also, of course, type the 60 percent, all right. So, uh, you can see, say they transparent, and of course, if you now want to set them come front once, you could just press control and uh, closing, closing by um, closing square brackets, and then that could set the uh, the element come front. So, you see, I'm saying they sit on top of every other thing. So, this is now how we work with these kind of things for Canva.
So like I said, if you now want to make um, design for clients or if you now want to do anything where you want to do for clients, just come here, come to them and you go, uh, you go design anything, any kind of design we want. So I hope say we don't learn many things for on top of our Canva. I hope say this don't teach us how to use Canva. I know say this is a very short video and some of us know today do design and all those kind of things, but so a lot of us also they do design. And if you're serious about this tech thing, you go like no design, you go not low code and no those kind of other things. All right. So I hope say, when I enjoy this video and if you like this video I better give this video a thumbs up make you like the video make you share the video and of course make you highlight your guy for social media I did there I did social media I did Facebook I did Instagram I our group did Telegram I did LinkedIn I did everywhere I want to I did there so when I holler me I did there I go try and answer any of your questions and try guide you now so I will see you now for the next video